On the general election campaign trail today at Liberton Bowling Club, the SNP supporters had gathered to lay on a light lunch for SNP leader Nicola Sturgeon, along with their local candidate, Jim Eady. Hey. There you go. OK, thanks. Turn left. Hi. First Minister, um, a bowling club is a great place to talk about pensions and the Conservative Party said that they would put a double lock on pensions. Why is that not good enough for the SNP? Well, because the triple lock has always protected uh, pensions against the erosion that we saw in the value of pensions for many years. And I don't think in an election where the Tories are promising a tax cut for the top 10% of income earners, they should be taking any protection away from pensioners. So whether it's a triple lock or the winter fuel allowance, pensioners have paid in and I think we should treat them with the dignity and respect they deserve in their retirement. Also in the Tory manifesto they were saying that they're going to support the new concert hall at St Andrews Square. I don't imagine you've had time to read as much detail as that. I've not read all of the Tory manifesto but we are very keen uh, to pursue city deals. We're very keen to see a, a city deal for Edinburgh and we'll continue to make sure we pursue uh, the, the regeneration and the economic development of Edinburgh and all of our cities. The skies then cleared just enough for the First Minister to have a bowling lesson from JT, the President of Liberton Bowling Club. And ahead of the SNP manifesto launch this week, her supporters all thought that she was well on target.